Am I Beyonce? Am I Beyonce? Say yes. <laughs> morning beautiful people i have a day today why why are you looking at me like that what's wrong with you why are you why are you looking at me like i killed your best friend you mad at me Chow. anyways i have a lot of shit to do today and i am going to drop blossom off at daycare because i'm probably not gonna be home for a while and she's good. She's potty trained. She's not too destructive when I leave her at home. But since I probably will be out for a few hours, she's still a puppy. And she got puppy energy. And I just don't want to leave her in this house by herself for a few hours when I just know she wants, She's eventually she's going to want to run around. So I'm going to drop her off at daycare so she can get all that shit out of her system. And I can get what I need to get done. So let me get the princess of the world ready. So the very first thing that I need to do is run to TJ Maxx and get some candles because my favorite candles are running low. I literally have like two candles left, two candles in my house left. Um, and I need, okay, we're going, we're going. I have two candles in my house left and that is just not okay. TJ Maxx has like my favorite candles. It's a brand called JW. But if you have any suggestions for other places that I could get really good candles, please leave it in the comments because I love candles. You ready to go to daycare? You ready, mamas? You ready, mamas? All right. I just realized that I completely lied to y'all. I'm going to Home Goods, not TJ Maxx. But they're under the same umbrella company, so I feel like it's the same shit. I am not having much luck with um, finding candles today. So I'm over here trying to check the webcams to see what the hell my dog is doing at daycare. And the webcams are down and I call to see what the okay. The webcams are down. So I call to see what the fuck is going on. Why can't I see what my dog is doing? And their Wi-Fi is down. And I feel like their Wi-Fi is forever down. Like, I feel like their Wi-Fi is always down. They said that somebody is coming out. At, why are you? Today has been a very annoying ass vlogging day because for some reason, every single time I start talking to this camera, somebody pulls up next to my car and stares at me. Like, when I say stares at me, be like, they be in my car. Like, I really need to get my windows tinted because I'm so aggravated. Like, mind your business. Yes, I'm talking to myself with a camera in my face. Mind your business. So, today was not really a successful, like, candle shopping day. I only left with three candles. And usually, when I go to Home Goods or TJ Maxx, I do get candles from TJ Maxx, too. I leave out of there with, like, ten candles, at least. But I only got three today. Everything in there, so it, so because it's fall, everything in there right now is starting to be like pumpkin spice, white pumpkin, fall express. Like, I don't want that. Apple crisp. All right, so well, let me show you the ones that I was able to get. All right, so this one is called um, Luminous, is it Bergamot? I hope I'm, I, I don't, don't, please don't come for me. Luminous, Bergamot, and Sugar Cane. This smells so bomb and it's so pretty too. I thought it was more black. I guess the lighting in there made it look more black, but it's more of like a green tone. 
Um, but I mean, my living room is pretty like neutral and boring. So it's not like it's gonna clash with anything. So the second one is by the same brand, the DW brand that I love. Um, it's called Moonlit Mango. It literally smells exactly like what it says. It's mangoes on the moon, if that's possible. This would be great in the second bathroom, but the fact that I'm never in there, like I wouldn't be able to like really smell this. Like I actually wanna be in the room when this is lit because it smells so good. And the last candle is Aromatherapy Stress Relief Tangerine and Lime. This is by Red Leaf Home. I've never tried them before, um, but I love candles that say aromatherapy because that just tells me that the candle, like the scent is going to be very, very strong. Like even like eucalyptus candles, like I love those because they are so strong. I can put it like all the way in my bathroom and I'll smell it when I'm coming through my front door. I guess because of the lime, it just smells like fresh, like cleaning products. Like I just took Pond Soul and drenched my house in Pond Soul from sealing the floor. That's what this smells like. And I love smells like that. I like to come in somebody's house and it smells clean. So I'm sure you guys have noticed, but my hair is lighter. Do you like it? Do you like it? Should I do this more often in the summertime? This hair is from Beauty Forever Hair. I actually used to wear blonde hair all the time, but I haven't done it in a while because I just be feeling like black hair just looks so natural and I've been into like my natural look lately. Um, but I do like the way that like lighter hair looks on my skin tone. This hair already came like this. I didn't dye it or anything. So I guess it's like this chestnut brown color with like some blonde highlights. I feel like next time I would either get like all blonde or all the chestnut color. I don't know if I would do like the highlights again. I know that I have a headband on, but this is actually not a headband wig. I just took a headband and put it on there just to make it look more natural because the roots are not dark. Sometimes on my skin tone, I can look like an alien because some of these colors kind of like blend in with my skin. So it looks weird coming out of my head. Your girl be looking like an alien, okay? It is actually a five by five lace closure. So I did the same thing that I always do with all of my hair and that is use my little spray, place the lace down, make sure that the lace is secure. And then after I wear a scarf for like 15 minutes, just to make sure that the lace is on my head, I like to take a hot comb and then just make sure that the hair is really flat. It doesn't look bulky. I did take my curling iron to put some curls throughout the ends of the hair so that the ends are not like straight and straight, boring and dull. They didn't stay, they did fall, but that's my fault because I didn't spray anything on it. I just took the curl and I just put the curls in there. But I mean, like, what do y'all think? Do you like it? Is it cute? Is it giving what it's supposed to give? Am I Beyonce? Am I Beyonce? Say yes. Also, my Shein package came in, so I'm gonna do a haul for you guys when I come back from my lash appointment. Um, I don't have time for that right now because I do gotta go get my lashes done. My lashes literally go from 100 to zero in like a week. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. My lash extensions fall off so fast. This time I actually paid for a, um, a volume set. I don't really want volume because I don't like heavy lashes. I don't like when it just looks like a really thick band of just spiders on my eyes. Um, but I do need a little bit more than the hybrid set that I've been getting. So I need to get something between hybrid and volume. It's crazy how like a fresh set of lashes can make you look like you have more makeup. Like I look like I have on makeup right now. So I just went in Target. I was like, oh, let me run in Target since I'm over here. Let me go ahead and run in there and see if I can find some more candles. I was like, oh, let me, cause everything that was at Home Goods was like pumpkin spice, white pumpkin, apple crisp. Like I'm not ready for that. I'm not ready yet. I, I just want regular candles. 
So I put in Target. I'm walking in Target. Y'all, it's an Ulta in Target. And I don't mean like, oh, a little Ulta, like tiny little Ulta. There is an Ulta inside of Target, like a giant ass Ulta store section in Target. Am I the, is this, am I the only person that didn't know that? Like, is this, is this new to Atlanta? And it's like, like what, like what is going, and they have Mac, they have, um, Tarte, they have like anything, I, I don't even, I don't know why I'm like listing the brands, but anything that you can find in a regular Ulta store is now sold in Target because now they have Ulta in Target. When the fuck did this happen? Where have I been? So from now on, I will be visiting the local Buckhead Target when I want to go to Ulta. Because the Ulta that's closest to me is ghetto and they ain't never got shit. Y'all, this is why I can't have kids. I completely forgot that I have a dog that I have to pick up from daycare. So I'm about to go home and do this she and try on haul. And I got a whole puppy that I have to pick up from daycare. Let's go get Blossom first. Hi. Hello. Hello, girl. Hello. 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 You're so excited. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hello. Hello. Okay, so these are the dresses. And, okay, so I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to try this one on because this one looks kind of stiff. This one is my safe dress, so I'm going to try this on, of course. This one, the mesh right here looks more blush pink than it does nude, but I'm still going to try it on because it's still cute. I don't know how to work this dress at all, so I'm probably going to skip on this one, too. This one looks like it could be promising, so I'm definitely going to try this one on. Now, it definitely looks way too big, but that part I'm not concerned about because I can easily get this tailored by next week. Um, and then this one also with the two slits on the side, this one looks really cute too. So I'm going to try on this one, this one, and this one. I don't think I need to try the safe one on just because if these three are, if the three that I want to try on aren't giving, then I'm just going to go back to dress number one from the last vlog. So yeah, let me try these three on and then y'all tell me what y'all think. Oh! I was gonna try on the one with the mesh at the bottom, but it looked like pajamas. Well, I did try it on, but I'm not wearing that, so it's no need for that one. But this one, y'all, hear me out. I'm hosing it in the back because it's way too big. It needs to be tailored. But I have a whole week to get it tailored, so that's not a problem. But y'all, I love this one. My hair is going to be up. Y'all told me that y'all wanted my hair up in the last video. So it's going to be up and it's going to be black, of course. I'm going to have black hair. But it's going to be up. And this with some strappy heels and diamonds. Y'all, this is this is a contender with my last dress. I mean, of course, I want y'all to let me know in the comments. But I'm fucking with this one. This is really cute. No? I think this is so cute. Oh, y'all, please let me know because this is definitely like a contender for me. It's the wet look for me. Okay, so this is the next dress and this one's really cute too. It has slits on the side. Out of every dress, including the dress in the last video, I feel like this is the most like cocktail-y one. Um, this actually looks like kind of like a party cocktail dress. I don't know. This is really cute. These dresses are a lot cuter in person than I thought they were going to be. Um, but yeah, this is another contender. The back is out. Slits. Oh, it's only a slit on one side. I, thought it was a, I don't know why I thought it was a slit on both sides. Okay. Okay, so yeah. Okay, I had to get my hair back out of my face because it's so annoying. But this is my safe, boring, if all else fails this dress will work dress it's really a cute dress it's just really a boring ass dress that i could wear any time of the year for any event but you always need one of these dresses just in case what if a zipper pop off what if all of a sudden you know i get super bloated and i can't fit it no more so i'm gonna bring this dress with me just in case anything goes wrong but yeah it's pretty boring 
Y'all complained in my last try on haul that I didn't really list anything in my description box. So I'm going to put the links to these dresses. I got all smalls. And if it goes two, four, six, eight, ten, then I got a four. Okay, y'all. So like truth moment, I have been kind of like unhappy with my body lately. Like I feel like my midsection area is literally just my midsection. So my midsection area, I feel like I've been looking like kind of... I don't know, just like big, kind of bloated. I don't know, it's kind of wide. And of course, if somebody else looked at me, they'll be like, no, but it's just like for me. Like I know how small I usually am and I haven't been there lately. So I've been kind of feeling down about it. And I literally had to fight the demons in my head saying, go lay down on the table and get liposuction. So I went and got a personal trainer instead. I'm going to try that and see how it goes. So we're going to start off with two times a week. I'm going to do like, um, so I'm going to do personal training on Mondays and Wednesdays. And we'll see how this goes. I don't like, I don't like, and I have never gone to like traditional gyms. So with Blossom, me and Blossom can walk like five miles a day. Like, I don't mind doing that. I don't mind like doing cardio, but I've never done anything to like tone myself. So that's what I got the personal trainer for to kind of tone what I have going on because I don't want to lose too much weight. When I lose too much weight, I don't have a butt. I don't have hips. I don't have anything down low. I just look like a stick. When I gain weight, I'm happy with my bottom half, but I'm upset with my midsection. Because I'm going to Houston, I know that I'm about to be drinking and eating crazy. So this is going to be kind of like my last hoorah before I start like taking better care of myself. And when I say taking care, better, taking better care of myself, I don't mean depriving myself of anything. If I want to go out and have drinks with my friends, or if I want to go out to lunch, and if I want a piece of fried chicken one day, like I'm still going to do that. I'm just going to do it in moderation. Like... I'm not, I'm not that person that, oh my God, my soul feels so good when I, um, when I do like little juices and I only eat salad. I only ate salad this week. Like I've tried that before and really it just upsets me and it makes me not a happy person. And you can see all of my mood that when I'm depriving myself of things that I like, that I'm less happy. So I'm not going to do that, but I am going to live a healthier lifestyle and take better care of myself while still making sure that I'm happy. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. And I ain't mean to get all deep on you. I just wanted to let you know what I was doing. That is it for today's vlog. Please, please, please let me know in the comments which dress I should choose if any of these dresses are better than the number one dress from the last vlog. So please let me know. Thank you for tuning in to this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.